Hi, I'm Polly Courtney, and this is a really short video about getting press coverage for your book. It's part of a series of videos about how to professionally self-publish your book, which basically means doing what a traditional publisher would do, but doing it better. Marketing your book doesn't start on the day it comes out. Ideally, you should make a marketing plan at least six months before you publish, especially if you expect people to read and review your book. Glossy magazines have a three-month lead time, so you've got to work with their timelines. The first stage of getting press coverage is about asking the question, Who's my book for? The answer is not everybody. Sorry, but there'll be plenty of people out there who don't like your book. Your target might be a demographic group like 25 to 34 year old women, or new dads aged 30 to 40, or pensioners. Or maybe it's people who share a common interest like golfers, Lady Gaga fans, feminists, outdoor sports fans, naturists. You can usually tell who will read it based on the characters or the theme or the style of the book. When you know who they are, ask yourself, where do they hang out? Do they listen to Radio 4? Do they hang out in chat rooms and forums? Or are they out clubbing? The great thing about the internet is that it's made it really easy to find niche groups. A Facebook page might only have 80 fans, but at least you know they're your target. If you're going for newspaper or magazine coverage, or TV and radio shows, then you'll reach a lot more people at once, but you'll have to accept that they're not all going to be your target audience. Whether you're going for a national broadcaster or a small forum, you can't just rock up and say, I've written a book. You need an angle. My angle for feral youth was, Here's why the London riots happened. You can have more than one angle. I use different ones for different publications. Women's magazines, for example, were more interested in my own personal story and the research and mentoring I did with young people. There's always an angle, always something that makes the book interesting. Otherwise, why did you write the book in the first place? Once you've got your angle, you need a hook, a real world event that makes your story relevant. There's no point in expecting Marie Claire to suddenly become interested in politics unless there's another news story about it. One of the most common mistakes I see is people pitching fascinating stories that are completely unconnected to anything going on in the real world. Another thing I've learned is that it's far better to get a feature article in the middle of a publication than a book review in the pages at the back. People always read articles, but how many people these days choose their books based on newspaper reviews? It's worth keeping a log of any contacts you come across. Set up a Google alert for relevant subjects. A bit of Google stalking should get you the details for pretty much any journalist. You can contact blog owners any time. Whoever you're liaising with, make sure you're professional. If an editor doesn't get back to you, leave it. Harassing them will not help. Neither will doggedly retweeting everything they put on Twitter. Guest posting on other people's sites can be a really good way of getting the word out there. I decided to approach schools and pupil referral units for feral youth, which meant doing a bit of a mail shot. The great thing about writing for kids and young adults is that they're a captive audience. They have to be in school. My top tips for getting press coverage are 1. Collaborate. If people get involved with your book at an early stage, then they'll want to shout about it when it comes out. Two. Say yes to everything. Even a little talk at your local library to 12 people could lead on to something else. Three, own the process. A bit of help from a well-connected PR might give you a boost, but there's nobody more incentivized to make this book sell than you. And remember, marketing doesn't start on the day your book comes out. It needs to happen in parallel with the editing and the publishing, which you can find out more about in my other videos. I hope that's a bit helpful. Good luck.